Alright guys, this is Purpose Lord and welcome to episode 4 of our Let's Play 3rd Days Divide and Conquer. We are the Dwarves of Erebor. Um, the last part ended off slightly, well, not as good as I'd planned, but due to the fact that it stopped working, the game did another crash. Let's get a blister there. So the Stormfoot Warriors are not, not bad. Let's save game. Because I want to assault it. I know they've got Uruk defenders, but I want to assault Gundabad. Alright, let's just do a day attack. 2 to 1, I should win it. We haven't had a battle for a while. So, good. I think we've never had a battle in the last. I think that was a heroic victory, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Right, so let's start the deployment. Right. Is that where I have to go? So if that's where I have to go, climb up here. And not down there. Right. Use the kind of scatter there. Matter what is here, I'm going to put you at the front with your sharpened states. Gimli, you go there. Carve over here. And the buildings. Yeah, start the battle. Yep, they're all here. Right, so you throw the siege equipment. Use march across there. Across the gimli. And you go there with the axe mark of Erebor. Matter warriors. Buildings to the rear. And my cavalry. Let's see the buildings actually. Yep, not bad. So let's see. I'm glad I never started up the mountains. In fact, I wish I had if I could have put archers up there and shot down. So here's the Uruk defenders. Twenty. I'm trying to see where their actual lord is. Or bodyguard, so he's in between. Yep, you can see the weak kind of guys there. There's a general, I think, there with a the big black helmet on. All except for you, run. Let's use all group and move up there. Maybe let's see. I think you should actually stop where you are right now. Are they actually fighting or is it just saying they are? I was just saying that, okay. Right, if you're going to show all formation, you can hold the center with the matter warriors either side of you. Gimli behind with the axemen of Erebor. And the miners there with the buildings. Yeah, have a day run. And these matter waters, we haven't saw them actually. Have we? No, but big hammers, nice. Ah, we saw everyone else, I think, yep. 
but we've not just saw the actual proper king's crossbow but yeah just a basic crossbow unit you know? Just to me, I guess I could actually fire them better or not. Why not? Uh, um, you, 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 you. Not you. You. You just grip up. That's my other boy, I forgot what you use. And just run. Because. I did not see they're doing nothing. There's a crossbow man. I don't feel they're gonna just get attacked. But they're not coming out to me. Very interesting. I just move up a bit. Yep, charge. I just have an airborne fuse can run up there. Give him a charge in. And these guys follow in. Then yeah, you just go up there, okay? So let's just do it times two. It looks like we're starting to chop them. Right, it's these guys I want to go in and fight, okay. A couple of my guys I think are a bit running. Now that that's my error ball can get in a better position now. My cavalry is going to be useless in here. Alright, let's bring miners in and the Bjornlings just for support. These guys fall back if defeat seems certain. They're losing more percentage of me at least. Shield wall. So this is a strange siege battle just when they're kind of here. But a nice actual hill to defend. Put archers there, move your infantry down there, archers can shoot over them. Nice, but you're very exposed. So I've actually lost a few more there, but that'll be most of my crossbowmen who have who kind of ran through the enemy. Which was nice, I suppose, eh? Nice of them. These King's Warriors are gonna go and Gimli's guys are right in the middle, but where is said Gimli? There he is. Not exactly right in the middle of it, but he's certainly no far. So 
Such a shit saying that defeat is pretty much a certainty. But it looks like I'm winning. Let's just time six and now because I mean it's really just a popcorn battle, as you say, just fight until it all happens. No strategy at all, really, just get up there and get them sorted out. Yep, so I've lost basically all my front line of infantry, which is the King's Guard, as they're called. I keep forgetting. The King's Warriors, the King's Guard of the Elite, I think, actually. Uh, and I've lost pretty much my Erebor Matic Warriors. But they've lost more percentage. It's not quite 2 to 1 now, but it's getting there. Now it officially is, yep. And you can see Gimli in the middle, they're just pushing out. Enemy general's lying dead now. So that might actually... That'll probably just... Yep, yeah, that's really broke them now. You can just see I'm closing in completely now. Yep. So it was a pop combat there, and four minutes if we don't physically kill them all, we've killed enough. The King's crossbow, they couldn't really get any decent shot. I tried to get him across there, but no. So I don't know if it was. I don't know really how they are. So it ended up being like two and a half percent to one for me the loss, but I still lost forty percent, two fifths. Yep, who inflicted the most? Two or three. Ah, Haxman of Araba for only six kills. Matter at Warriors. I'm actually that good. Buildings come in and did a lot. Mind you they Matt at Warriors and King's Warriors did good. Then down here, King's Warriors up. The Siege of Undabad. And I'll occupy it. And I'm going to save because that's quite a big thing in Gundabad. They catapult me, I can't help. Ooh, Fort Town. Fort Archers, they're not the best, but it's extra things. Now the mines. Let's see, mines, much can you get? It was this one. So 577 is not the best. So Grain Exchange, Large Pig Farm. I think I'll actually go with the, the Fort Town Post as well, eh, first. Uh, I'm uh, that cavalry used just chase him down. It's not like a skimmage, why is it showing that? It's not that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Man of the hour, perfect. And let's see, 39 Royal Guard. Oh, sorry guys, I nearly. Made a mistake. So Dane's Halls and Erebor. I think I actually sorted them out. So mission success. Perfect. And if we go down here. Um and the done. So yeah, that was the Siege of Gundabad. That was actually not as much yeah. fair dues. I wish I'd deployed my archers up in the house to see if they could shoot down. Because they would have got so many kills while my main moved into position. I might actually see a bit of custom battle just to see if I could do that. Or if I had to tell you what I'll do, I'll go back to an, an old save data and I'll play it myself, fight them. Yeah. Um, 
what bullet dodge pick from. Dwarven Travelers. Not bad. Ooh, I can get that to come up with another spy. Right, only. Can I know what's. Sins of the Fallen, you can get there. Hammers of Gundabad, but you also you need the culture. Right, so yeah, after this, get the culture going. But at least we've moved out. And Gundabad is a Gundabad. Gundabad is a good place to have. <laughs> Poppy, I don't really know why. It's really doing my head in. Probably yours too. Here, me try to unblock them. It's weird because from my ears, if that even makes sense, it's kind of my Rohan. Oh, there was one closer. Trade rights. Yep, map info, map info. What about an alliance? No, that's fine. Yeah, how many things have I just reached there? Uh, right, Condor are about, well I know that's Minas Tirith, but I've got a bit of fort here. Dwarven Travels at my capital, not bad I suppose. Yep, a ballista. Some stuff being stouts, yeah, I'm starting to build up a nice little army here. I'm going to get a miner's quarters next. Get more free upkeep units and different things. So that's been like 20 minutes into the episode. Where's Dale going? Can I get my military? New mission, take Litash. Oh, wrong button. 1500. Right, uh, Dane's Holger building. Now what's good here is keep him and keep two of the idols. There's a fort, there's a captain with some Orc Marauders and Orc Fellers. No wee different map. Pair of wee guys legs has been running for ages. I'm just trying to go out, try and get trade with people, but I don't really know who else to go to. You've got a principality of Dol Amroth. Ooh. Snaga Stalkers. Uh, Ork Malls are not bad. Uh, sorry, Ork Marauders. Yeah, but I'll still get them. I wouldn't want it saying that would be because they outnumber me. <laughs> but I'll be fine. Go forth and take for a little space. You may triumph on a field for a day.
the Strud of Gondor at the Pyre of Death. So start deployment now. Who do I want to deploy? Probably here. Yep. Okay, this takes it out. So right, you and your shield wall. Um, with you there. Aeroport Axeman there. Gimli here. The two miners that will be on this here. And the calf here. come for me. Let's see them. Yep, there's a the snaggers. I'm looking for the art fellas because they looked pretty cool. This will be them. Yep, big weapons. So let's see how good my guys really are. Rulers must be able to hide kinda of anywhere. Heavy infantry, I never realised they were counted as heavy infantry. This was the King's Warriors. But anyway, it's since I fall medium. Doesn't make hundred percent sense to me. Right, good. So these guys look like they're going to come round the back, which probably suits me. Maybe not. So all that firing. And I've lost one. There's only 55 of them. Right, we've lost a few now. Right, Still, just keep it to times two. Just no. Whoa, 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 whoa. a lovely surprise. Silly me didn't think we would have been able to get through so let's just charge. So Silly me, didn't think we'd be able to climb up and down the mountainside, but apparently you can. Yep, we just go to attack them. The cavalry should be fine there. Let's see. I was going to air a boy, yep, usual. Batter anybody. And the King's Crossbow now use her here. That should be a good angle to get her shooting. Come on. I do remember watching a pixelated Apollo video and he did say that the Dwarven Crossbowman, I think it was Reforged he was playing to be honest, it was Iron Crossbowman, take a while to actually start firing. But when they do it, it is good, so I'm hoping he's the same at reloading. Yeah, perfect. So thirty one years cover up there. Next let's say I've lost six percent and they've lost thirty two percent. 
and just go here nice charge into the rear here which killed our general, whether it was a charge or just my guys and their men. Perfect. So these guys are firing away, looks like they're actually doing really well. So if a cavalry runs up there. And yep, they're routing. Continue the battle. Yep, cavalry. Oh, let's run up this way. Then get. Him. Yep, perfect. If you just run across here, then attack them. Yep, what's out better? Perfect. So that was perfect. I managed to lose 11%. Nice. Veil Outriders. Oh, there's one guy there. Heroic victory when they said heroic inflicted. Nobody did. Like, technically, no one got Amazing King's crossbow with 49. Outriders get good experience. He's gold. Wow. Um. Prisoners call it up before I actually caught the prisoners. So yeah, actually been available 68 for nothing again. I quite enjoyed that little battle, even though it was a surprise to me. I'll just execute them, I don't need the money. But money would probably have done it. Oh, there's a Gondor fort there. I'm going to give them the gold for the map information. Don't know why it was talking about the last alliance. Um, that's Gondor. Right, Dollar and Ross down here. Him with the kind. Right, what board? You're doing fine. Erebor. Yep. Um, let's get some more guys in there. Cuthagol's doing fine. Gundabad. Perfect. Get some extra men, even just to use as cannon fodder, so to speak. Dane's Halls, yep. And back to the start, perfect. So you've got him. And that with nothing much in it. So can we just stay there for a wee turn? You know, take one turn, maybe reinforce you with them. But yeah, guys, this is it for part four, so thank you very, very much for watching. Proud Pete out, to the now.